makes a great protein? What makes a great uh, protein, it has to have the activity which it has in its natural environment. So all the proteins uh, which we are currently producing uh, for the AppChem catalog go into an activity assay. So we make sure that it has a fantastic uh, activity. Then in order to be extremely active, it needs to be uh, properly folded and properly stable. We are expressing mammalian proteins which are uh, secreted to the extracellular space in a mammalian system where they are secreted into the extracellular space with the right uh, post-translational modification. So we get a recombinant protein which is as identical as it possibly can be to the natural uh, produced uh, one. And then we apply a uh, good um, QC, so uh, uh, purity is always really high. We make sure that the integrity and the identity of the protein is uh, the right. We give to our customers the right uh, protein concentration, which uh, can be quite often relatively fraught in, in, um, on the market. And uh, last not least, as we are producing proteins for uh, cell culture, uh, we have an extremely low endotoxin uh, level in our samples. So what's the typical application of some of these high quality proteins that you've been producing? So the current uh, proteins which we are producing is uh, a set of cytokines and growth factors which are intended to be used in cell culture. And the researcher can use that from early on studying your protein or pathway in a specific cellular context by adding the protein to the cell culture and it can go up to uh, cell, cul uh, cell therapy or gene therapy uh, where you need uh, to differentiate a cell line uh, into a certain stage and, and so on. There is uh, this application, but there are also other applications for uh, proteins. For example, currently very uh, popular uh, and very uh, much in discussion is uh, COVID proteins. Uh, the spike uh, protein which sits on the surface of the protein uh, is used for diagnostic kits or for creating vaccines. And this is other applications for proteins. We are currently producing also COVID proteins. And again, I think that sort of takes you back, I guess, to your days when you were in pharma and you had that impact on people's lives by actually doing something that was really you know, in demand. And I think COVID has really shown, um, I think a lot of us, just the importance of life sciences and what, and what does, goes on in places like AppCamp. Yeah, that's, that's a difference between uh, passion and fashion. Fascinating. Um, I, I spent a lot of my uh, scientific career on uh, proteins. I never would say I'm passionate uh, about uh, proteins. I'm, I find proteins a fascinating uh, molecule class. Where I'm passionate about is life science, uh, doing, applying science in the greater good for the society, in curing diseases, understanding disease uh, mechanisms and so on.